welcome to a new tutorial this one instead from from being from scratch I will it will be more like a while through and then I will upload the, the file so you can check out uh, on your own so in this tutorial we are going to create this kind of abstract shapes pattern I was doing some research and yeah so here we are a, a GNO where I imported the the mesh <coughs> and then I use <coughs> a transform soap this is by the way this is a free 3D scan that I downloaded from I think it's 1024.com then I added some normals and UV texture in, in orthographic mode and then we have this artery bob which project the, the texture so here we have the uh, UV coordinates and the texture and I export that to uh, the color channel and then we will use this to drive a, a point cloud so uh, from here I converted the the mesh to a volume if you want a, a great tutorial on clouds or volumes you can check out the Tagma website uh, so this cloud has a pretty dense mesh to to catch the details and the density multiplier and then I have a cloud noise which does almost every everything on the effect this this pattern that I, I really like so here I, th these are my settings you can you can pause the video or or check the hip file I will be uploading on my, my website <coughs> And then finally, I have a volume bob which adds these these holes to the volume. And here, <coughs> I have, as I mentioned before, the PC open from the the input two, which is the the scatter. So I, I am importing these these points that have been generated from the texture that I, I imported here and the PC, PC filter and the fit range and then I cal cal calculate the dot product of the density from the volume that we created with the with the cloud. The and the point cloud, and I export that with the with the binding export to the density, and that's pretty much. So I will be posting the the file on the on my website. You can see the the link in the description, and here I have some examples of some another ex experiments that I did with this technique. So this is the the one that I was working with, and this is another playing with noise. Here are uh, a bunch of faces with different settings, different uh, options in the in the volume. Another example is playing with with different noises and, and frequencies
I think that I, I started this uh, this research trying to trying to match an effect that three Greeks did. Uh, let's see if I can find it. If you don't know him, he he has amazing abstract art. So go check out. And I think the effect was something like like this. Something this. It was not the this exact uh, picture, but was something similar. After some some weeks, he made uh, a tutorial to, to make that effect in Arnold. That's pretty much like adding some noise to to the volume density. So <coughs> uh, I'm planning to make more more tutorials in, in this format that, that they don't take too much time, and I have a lot of of files explorations that I do with, with Houdini to, to have some fun so if you if you like this this kind of format let me know and for the next tutorial I was thinking about doing some mantra mantra shaders I am pretty new to mantra but I, I did some explorations for example this this was a shader uh, that I did Mantra and this was another quality is pretty where do we go? and this is another and here I have some some of the, the shaders that I, I did. These are all procedural. The, the examples I show before are fr with this and this one, as you can see. Of course, if you tweak the quality, you can get some better, better results. But uh, Mantra is pretty, pretty slow compared to Octane, but incredibly, pro incredibly powerful because you can tweak uh, all the, the attributes and the stuff. I will be uh, uploading the. This is another ex ex example I did with with the technique I showed before. I will be uploading this file. Um, hope you like it. Cheers.